Hey guys, don't forget to use code LEXNOS in-game before you make any in-app purchases. If you want to help support this channel, it means a lot. Thank you so much. With the second rematch of Team LEXNOS versus Team Nick Nose, we got a couple new players on my team. And let's see, what's Nick bringing in today? He's coming in with two clone spells on a Lalo attack. Oh gosh, <laughs> what's he got in store for us today? Early Royal Champion with the Unicorn with an invisibility from the right side of the base. Okay. She'll be able to take out the scatter shot. That's looking nice. Boom. Pop the ability right there. Change the expo behind. She clears that entire scatter compartment. Another invisibility. She's going to get the expo. She might even get this air defense. In fact, she will. Nice. She's going to get the air defense. Drops the king with the lassie and two wall breakers to go into the eagle artillery compartment. Queen with the yak in to help support as well. Wizard to help make sure that funnel is set. Minion at three o'clock with a balloon for the cannon. King gets locked onto by the single target inferno. Do we freeze to keep him alive? Actually, it's not locked onto the king. It was on a barbarian, I guess. Nice. Pop that king ability. Ice golem about to pop soon to help with a little freezy freezy action. Yes, pops and freezes the single. Perfect. But the queen goes outside. Oh, that is not what he planned for. King takes out the air sweeper, pulls the CC troops. Bro, is he about to do an Electron after like a 50% Sui? <laughs> oh, this is about to be nuts. Pops the Queen ability. Hopefully can kill all the CC troops. There's one Headhunter that's not in the poison, but the Yak kills it. Perfect. He's going to blimp the core, dude. What is in his CC? This is going to be very important. He's trying to get it between both Infernos. Does he have super minions? There go the clones. Nope, it's an E-Dragon with balloons. It gets both Inferno towers. What does the E-Dragon do? It's going to kill the Royal Champion. And he starts to Lalo from the top side. The Royal Champion's dead. The core is completely gutted. And he starts to Lalo from the top side of the base with two freezes, one haste, Warden on air with the Owl to support. Okay. Freezes the Town Hall. Yes, yes. There's the Tornado Trap, but half the loons make it there. Pops the Warden ability. Down goes the Town Hall. First Ice Golem pops. Second Ice Golem pops. Everybody's frozen. We got to get the loons through the poison. Warden's about to take a lot of damage from the poison, but I think he'll be okay. We're going to haste and freeze. All of our spells have been used. We still have two headhunters to go target that enemy queen, and we send them perfectly from 9 o'clock, even though the king's still alive on the top side. They target the queen. Down goes the queen. The warden is tanking the expo. No more spells to get through this, but we got at least 73 loons still alive. The owl is helping as well. He's going to tank the expo and the single, and as long as there's not like 17 red bombs, I think it's a triple unless he's going to time fill. Were you about to see a Nick time fill? The loons are going to have to go over for the ground bow. Minions on the top side take out the king. Best air defense in the game is down. They get the collector as well. E-Dragon on the left with the minions going to grab that dark bear. It's 10 seconds to go. Down goes the storage. 98 or 99% and 5 seconds to spare. It's a triple for Nick. Getting it done with the Electron. Sui Lalo at Town Hall 14. Nicely done. And Team Nick knows with an early three-star attack to start off this match. Ninja is in with the first attack for Team Lexnos. Coming in with a little more peewee-wee action. Oh yeah. We got the owl with the king again. He likes that owl with the king. Lassie with the queen. Yak with the warden. What the heck? Early blimp from six o'clock. Okay, let's hope it's not trapped. Can it get there? Ooh, yes. We're doing a blizzard. Finds the tornado. Oh no. Has one more invisibility. That's his last invisibility, though. Oh, we're in trouble. Has to invest a freeze. Has to invest another freeze. There's only how many super wizards alive? He gets it. Yes. Woo. Good save. But it costed him two freezes. But he still could be okay. Sends the queen with the lassie over here at five o'clock. Uh, hasn't used any wall breakers just yet. Looks like he's just going to send everybody into the gap. There goes the first wall breaker. Pops and makes the gap even bigger. Okay, here come all the peckers. Super wizard's in behind. Wizard to hell funnel at 3 o'clock. Warden down with the yak. King with the owl. Straight into an air defense, but hopefully that pecker kills it quickly. Ooh, that owl's barely alive. Pops the warden ability with the wall breakers to get all the way into the back end of the base. Looking beautiful. King on the top side. Going to be able to make the funnel here. We don't have a siege barracks because of the early blimp. There was the next rage, those wall breakers. Did he just jump, drop the jump spell on top of where the wall breakers were? <laughs> 
Nice jump spell, Ninja. Oh, no. But Queen actually uses that jump spell to go into the Inferno Tower compartment. Did you guys see that? I didn't even think it connected, but it does, apparently. Peckers and Super Wizards on the top side clear out that entire compartment. Free spell to help Queen take out the scatter. That's actually huge because we don't have her ability still. Nice. And she'll even kill the Royal Champion, maybe? Yes, down goes the Royal Champion. Do we still have our Royal Champion? To deploy, we do, with the Unicorn. He's holding on to her, though. Minute and 12 on the board. No more spells to deploy. He still has the King ability that he hasn't even used yet. There goes the King ability. We got healers on the Pecker, making sure that Pecker is nice at full health, ready to go. Royal Champion from the nine o'clock angle with the Unicorn, just to clean up the base. It's wrecked. It's wrecked, Ninja, with the sketchy attack. Not gonna lie, that PWE was questionable, but it works, and it's gonna crush the base. The Royal Champion with the King, gonna be able to take out the enemy King. Come on, don't tell me I jinxed him. There goes the Royal Champ ability. All the defenses are dead. Enemy King is gonna drop. Thank you, Warden, for helping out. Pecker and Super Wizard on the bottom end, gonna be able to finish off the last two buildings, and with 30 seconds to spare, it's gonna be a Clan Clash triple for Team Lex Nose to catch right back up. And now it's three stars apiece. Drew is in with the second attack for Team Nick. He's not going last this time. He wants to go second. Get it over with early. Coming in with an early blimp. It's going to be a queen charge hybrid here with the blimp early. Rage spell to help the yetis take out the multi, the bomb tower. And can they damage the queen? No. Look at the compartment the queen jumps into just so that the yetis cannot reach her. Nice queen from Mr. Fu. He drops his queen with a yak on the bottom side of the base to walk to the left and toward the town hall. Sneaks in the little headhunter right there to help support. Was the headhunter late? It was. The yak actually busts open the wall. And that might make queen go where he doesn't want her to because the yak's going to bust open another wall. Oh, this charge is not going to plan. This is why using the yak on a queen charge is questionable. Actually, this might be better, though. Holy crap. Now he can just hybrid into the town hall. If the queen takes another step forward, the healers might get in range of the air defense, though. That could be bad news bears, but she's not. The healers are just barely outside the range of the air defense. Wow, that's OP placement right there. Looking pretty good for Drew, not going to lie. Sends the Yeti to funnel, even though... Okay, you, you do you, Drew. You do you. Let's watch this queen go in for the expo. She'll take out the air defense. Here comes the hybrid. Straight into the town hall. King with the unicorn on the outside of the base. Queen is going to make her way toward the core now. The way that worked with the yak getting queen to the core was actually even better than whatever else he had planned. I'm pretty sure. Freeze the town hall. I'm going to pop this warden ability here in a second as well. There goes the warden ability to negate the damage from the gigabomb and hopefully the poison effect. King pops his ability with the Unicorn. He's just getting so much value on the outside of the base. Free spell for the multi in the core. Look at that wall breaker. Ooh, I don't know how I feel about that, though, because now Queen's going to wrap around the top side instead of beating a wall for the core, and the healers are going to get in range of the multi. That wall breaker actually did not help him out too much. Heal spell on the top side for the troops as they encounter the bomb tower and the multi on the top side of the base. Queen still has her ability. Need to pop it right now. Pop the queen ability or she's going to die through the ability. Drew, you rascal. She dies through the ability. Scattershot is OP. There goes the last heal spell. All the hogs are dead, but we still got like 73 and two-thirds miners on the outside of the base. His royal champion got absolutely clan clashed by the eagle artillery. The eagle with the owl are not going to be able to get it done, I think. These miners, it's hard to see how much health they have. They can't because there's a bug in the game right now. For some reason, you cannot see minor HP, which is actually really frustrating because you don't know when you need to heal them or not. But as the troops fizzle out here, it's going to be a defense for Team Lexnos. 84% it looks like here for Drew. Again, every time when all his troops are about to die, he starts to lose connection. Coincidence? I think not. I think not. Probably force close the app. But with 84%, I don't think he's going to get anything more than that. we got to watch the spinny wheel here for a few seconds. Or did he actually force close? Let's see. No, he's still in. He's just doing his attack from McDonald's. It did, in fact, be 84%, though. Nice try to Drew, but not able to get it done. Mr. Polar Bear with the next attack for Team Lex Nose. Here we go. Coming in with, what the heck is he using, bro? Is it like Noah's Ark? He's got a golem. He's got a yeti. He's got 
Oh, it's not that much, actually. It's going to be a Lalo attack with a Log Launcher. Did a little funneling over here on the right. King on the left to walk down and toward the Ego Artillery Compartment. Golem in front of the Log Launcher. We're going to try to get that Log Launcher to give us access all the way to the core of the base. One Headhunter right there. And two Skeleton Spells to help with the Sui. All right, Mr. Polar Bear, getting fancy. I see you. He's trying to change his name to Stars. Log Launcher has yet to take any damage. Or is it getting hit by the Expo? No, that's the Golem getting hit. Log Launcher is doing great. It's going to bust open the walls all the way to the multi. He sends the Royal Champion from 9 with an early as heck skeleton spell over there. But the Expo still targets the Royal Champion. So he's going to invest a freeze as well. Queen with Yetis and a Unicorn. She's going to get stuck onto the Lava Hound and she might not take out the multis like he planned. Royal Champ has to pop her ability. He does have an invisibility spell that he could use on the Royal Champ if he wanted to. Doesn't need to. Might need to save that for the Queen. I don't think he's going to get the multi in the core. But with the poison, the Queen ability, and the invisibility, he should be able to kill the enemy Royal Champion in both the multis down here on the south portion of the base. Let's see what he does. Pop the Queen ability first. Yes. Kill the multi and the RC. Now use the invisibility perfectly so you get the other multi. No, she goes to the right. She grabs the air defense, but that means the multi stays up. This could be bad news. Starts the Lalo directly into the town hall. He didn't use the invisibility at all, which means he's going to have to use that on Lalo troops. A little questionable. Town hall wakes up from the chain damage of the owl. We have a, a rage for the Lalo. That's kind of neat. Ice Hound's going to make its way to the left side of the base because that's the only air defense left. We got to freeze that scatter. Come on, freeze it. And haste. You got so many haste on the board. Probably freeze the multi as well. And haste to it. Yep, there goes the next freeze. Sneak in two loons for that air defense, sir. Please do it. What's, what the heck was that invisibility on the archer tower? What? Mr. Polar Bear. Here come the loons for the back end air defense with the haste. Yo, he still might get this. 40 seconds to go. The only thing left is the archer tower that's going down and the multi. 30 seconds. Tell me he has enough time for cleanup. Down goes the multi. 30 seconds for cleanup. We got loons on the left, loons on the right. Warden and the owl trying to snipe storages. There's air skeletons that are being very pesky though. We got one minion on the bottom side of storage. Lots of minions up top. Come on, 18 seconds. Tell me he's got it. The loons down south will get the storage. These loons in the warden will clear those buildings. It all comes down to the clan castle. 10, 9, 8, 7. Warden and owl fly faster, please. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yes! Mr. Polar Bear with the calculated... Clan Class Triple, what a god! And getting another three star for Team Lexnos. Pevu is in on my base with the third attack for Team Nick Nos. <clears throat> Let's see what he's doing. Early wall breaker from the top side. He's coming in with the Queen Charge Hybrid. All right, all right. Just gonna send the Queen Charge directly into the Town Hall Chamber. He decides to use the Unicorn with the queen, even though she's that unicorn's probably going to get absolutely toasted by this Giga Inferno. Got to rage up the queen right there. Unicorn is taking a lot of damage from that Giga Inferno. There's the tornado trap. Down goes the unicorn. So she basically got zero value, unfortunately, because he raged up the healers anyway. Queen will be able to take out a few defenses over here and then continue pathing toward the middle of the base. It's hard to tell if he wants her to go. I think he wants her to go left. Yep, he's going to wall break over there just to make the wall opening even bigger. Now, you'll probably see him hybrid directly into the single target Inferno Tower compartment. She's in range of the single, which means we're going to have to freeze it up. Luckily, he brought three freezes to this attack. There goes the first freeze. Since the King and Siege Barracks from 3 o'clock, here comes the hybrid from 2 o'clock. Does it target the queen again? No. Here comes CC troops. Mass headhunters in my CC. Nice toxic CC, Lexnos. Are we going to pop a warden ability early? Nope. We're going to go with the early heal. King and Siege Barracks on the outside. Rage spell for the queen and a poison. That queen is still taking a lot of damage from those headhunters. Luckily, she gets through it. Just barely. Still holding on to this warden ability that we'll be able to pop here in a second. He's got the owl with the warden, the lassie with the royal champion, and the yak. No, nothing with the king. He must be upgrading his yak. Pevu's not a dirty jimmer like the rest of us, I guess. Still holding on to the queen ability on the top side. Doesn't even need it to get through the multi, though. 
The queen distracts a lot of the miners, and boom, they go down. Okay, we still got hogs from the siege barracks coming out to help the road champion. There goes the road champion ability. We're holding on to one final free spell. We need the road champion to not get targeted by the king. Queen pops her ability, kills the enemy queen, is looking crushed. He's got it. He's got it. Peivu with the OP hybrid attack for Team Nyknos. Going to be able to get it done. No swag spells or abilities on this one. But a three star is a three star. Nice attack here from Peivu and lots of time on the board to spare as well. A little skeleton trap action at the end. Doesn't matter though. He's got over 30 seconds to spare. Oh, actually he's got to go back for the clan castle. But still, still plenty of time on the clock. Nice plan from Peivu, beautifully executed. And now Team Nyknos are clawing their way back into this match. Mr. Fu with the third attack for Team Lexnos is in with a little pee wee wee action. This is what we like to see. Queen charge starting from the bottom side of the base. Okay, okay. Unfortunately, that owl, oh, that poor owl, dude. He just sent that owl on a suicide mission. <laughs> Dies to the air defense right away. That owl got zero value, dude. Rip. It seems like no pets can stay alive with the queen on a queen charge. It's hard to determine what pet you want to use with the queen charge these days. Early blimp from six o'clock. Hello, seeking air mines. That blimp's going to die right on top of the eagle artillery. Pulls the CC troops. Got to drop the poison right there so queen can deal with those head hunters. Queen's going to step up. Target the king. Then she might switch to the lava hound here in a second. The yetis are clearing some of these ground expos, which definitely helps a ton. Otherwise, there would have been like three ground expos on the queen right now. So that definitely helps a lot. Queen takes out the Lava Dog. Now she'll start working on those Lava Pups. Only takes her three and a half days to get through all of those, but eventually she does. Might have to rage her up again soon. Ooh, she's getting low. But she don't need it. She don't need it. She's okay. Oh, then he drops it anyway. Mr. Foo, this guy. Queen's gonna step up for the Teslas. There goes a Wall Breaker to get us access to the Wizard Tower compartment. King with the Unicorn on the outside. Queen steps outside and stays outside rip does she go in at some point we're gonna send the peckers the warden the witches and the super whizzies from nine o'clock we need queen to stay inside go charge the core of the base otherwise it's gonna be bad news bears tell me she goes back in dude she's gonna target the builder hut she's not going in she's not going in oh nobody's gonna get this town hall he still has a jump spell he's like screw it i gotta drop the jumps so they can go get this town hall so he swags all the wall breakers okay Pops the warden ability to save the queen through the multi. Ooh, watch this Giga Inferno and Giga Poison do work on his troops, though. Poison spell for the town hall. Here comes the Giga Blast. Mm. Giga Poison as well. There's no more Super Wizards. Well, there's one right there, but he's about to die. Super Wizard on the top side. Here comes the Road Champion from 12 o'clock. Bro, is this still going to work? He's got an invisibility spell in the bag. This is still going to work. What is this game? Oh, my gosh. Road Champion with the Lassie on the top side just not dying. There's not enough damage, dude. The Queen Charge in the core is still going strong. All of his Super Wizards are dead, but it doesn't even matter. Queen takes out the multi. Road Champion can pop her ability. We even have an invisibility spell that we can use on her if we want to. Down goes the Scatter. Pop the Queen ability just for time reasons. Time could be an issue? Question mark? Only 15 seconds to go. 14, 13, 12... Skeletons are doing a great job on the right side. 10, 9, 8. That road champion is so fast on cleanup, but she goes for the army camp. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Mm, Warden snipes it with one second to spare. Wow, the buzzer beaters are insane today. And Mr. Fu, gonna get it done for another clan clash triple for Team Lexnos. Loch Ness Monster with the fourth attack for Team Nyknos. All right, all right. Coming in with the Inferno Baby Dragon spam attack. Ooh, he's trying to wall break to the town hall, but it didn't really do what he wanted. He sends King and Queen inside anyway. Let's see if that new Queen AI is true. Does she just kind of go inside the corner or is she going to walk to the right? Oh, she does. See, that's that new Queen AI that the patch notes were talking about. She's more likely now to just walk inside corners like that. In the old version of the game, she definitely would have stayed outside. Queen takes out the Town Hall. He gets the CC pool, unfortunately. He's going to have to fight the Hound. Inferno Baby's coming in from the top right side of the base with a Stone Slammer at 3 o'clock to help support. Early as heck, Warden ability. Skeleton spells are down to distract. Free spell as well for the enemy heroes in the middle. 
Queen is taking so much damage from that Giga Poison. She's going to die through the ability. Look at that Queen on the top side. Ooh, she almost died. She did. The poison killed her through the ability. That's incredible. you got to be careful with that new Giga Poison. Freeze and Skelly's on the Eagle. We still have the Royal Champion with a Unicorn to deploy. And we're going to drop her from the 5 o'clock side of the base. All right. Freeze and Skelly's in the course for the Scatter. That's looking good. We got a big Inferno Baby buildup on the bottom side of the base. They're all going to start wrapping their way around the middle and to the left of the base here. There's still two multis that we have to worry about. And those multis do do a lot of damage to the Inferno Babies. The Royal Champion is going to get out in front. And she might end up dying soon. Where's her unicorn? Did her unicorn die? Her unicorn did die. Dude, how did her unicorn die early? That's unfortunate. Drops both the skeletons to distract the Royal Champion. His Royal Champion is going to have to pop her ability right there. Boom, boom, boom. Chain a few defenses. Unfortunately, didn't hit the air defense. The skeleton spells are going to allow us to kill the enemy Royal Champion. If Royal Champ can get through the air defense, I think we've got it. Or how much damage can the multi do to these Inferno Babies? Uh, I don't want to call it yet. I think he's got the triple. Yeah, the Royal Champion is going to go help take out the multi. He's got it. He's got it. Nothing to fear. The Owl is here. Snipes the Inferno Tower with the help of the Royal Champion. Down go the defenses and the base is wiped. Nicely done from Loch Ness Munster. Going to get another Clan Clash triple for Team Nick Nose. Tupac with the fourth attack for Team Lex Nose. What is he bringing for us today? Some Lalo action with a Golem, six Lightnings, an Earthquake, and potentially a Log Launcher. Uses some of the Lightnings and the Earthquake for the Eagle and the Multi. Still has one more Lightning spell to drop. Royal Champion from 9 o'clock. I don't think he has, he didn't bring enough Lightnings to kill the Eagle, so he just wanted to soften it up. Or really, he just wanted to kill the Inferno Tower. And hopefully the Royal Champ ability can finish off the Eagle. Log Launcher Sui with the Queen from 10 o'clock. King to funnel the outside with the Unicorn. Okay. Log Launcher needs to be a little faster. Please bust open the walls. Perfect. Golem goes inside. Royal Champion still has her ability. She should be able to take out the Eagle Artillery. Queen actually finishes it off. Queen with a Mass Headhunter CC. Please freeze. Please. Oh, oh. There's a Lightning. Queen. Oh, nice. Queen only took... Uh, damage from one shot right there is looking great we have access to the core king and the unicorn on the top side go inside and take out the scatter dude the sui value is looking phenomenal the yetis go to the middle as well the yeti mites might take out the multi and what else can the queen get he's already starting the lalo super heckin early from the top right side of the base we're gonna have to start freezing up that town hall as it does a lot of damage to the loons queen goes inside takes out the multi takes out the enemy king the ice what, what is did he have an ice hound in there uh yes he did have an ice hound that popped king ability right there queen dies to the scatter shot we still got to kill that enemy queen but we're gonna send in headhunters they're gonna kill her thanks to the freeze on the back end to distract the, or to freeze the scatter shot couple of extra loons coming in from all around and it's wrecked it's absolutely wrecked beautiful zap log launcher sui lalo from Tupac to destroy Nick's base and Team Lexnos are four for four in this match against Team Nick Nose. Beautifully done and over a minute to spare. A fast one. This was nice hit from Tupac. WR Phoenix with the final attack for Team Nick Nose bringing in another Lalo hit. Four invisibilities. Is it going to be a Blizzard Lalo? Looks like it. Blimp manually pops it early. Invisibility, Rage, should be able to take out the Town Hall, the Royal Champion, the Queen, the Inferno. Those wizards really don't want to target the Town Hall. There they go, finally going to wake it up. Can he kill the CC as well? That'd be nice if they kill the CC building before the rest of the CC troops come out. He's got no more invisibility spells. Rip. Oh, he did kill it all though. Nice. But he didn't kill the Queen or the Royal Champion. That's a little unfortunate. Ice Golem, King with Yak, Queen with Unicorn to Sui, the left side of the base. Wall Breaker right there. That was our only Wall Breaker. Hopefully the Yak can bust open one more wall so the Queen can reach the Scatter Shot. That would be phenomenal if she does, except his Yak is already dead. That's why I think it's better to put the Unicorn on the King and the Yak with the Queen. The Yak stays just a little bit farther back. Sends the Royal Champion to try and get the Scatter Shot though, but she gets distracted by Skeleton Trap. 
But he's gonna drop the poison. All right, all right, that's a good poison. Headhunter sneaking in as well. We can take out the queen. Pop the road champ ability. There's another skeleton trap. Hello, tornado. King beats through a wall, and queen gets the scatter. Nice. Now let's see how good his Lalo is. We got a nice, decent L shape here for the Lalo. Eagle artillery still awake. Queen still has ability. She's actually gonna grab that left side air defense and go get the wizard tower at nine o'clock as well. Phenomenal. Warden on air with the owl. Two lava dogs into that first air defense. We gotta get through the multi, and then it should be smooth sailing from there. I can't see how this fails with three haste and four freezes. Honestly, just freeze the eagle. And if it targets your loons. He might not even need to, dude. Just pop the warden ability and like swag seven spells. Holy crap, ninja! You need a new base, sir. Haste into the scatter. Freezes it as well. He's just going to use all the spells, bro. He's not even going to swag. He's going to say, nah, let me just overkill this base real quick. Real. Two freezes in the bag. He's going to go ahead and drop him on the Tesla farm just because he can. That owl is trying to keep up with the Lalo, but it can't. Queen from the Sui is still alive with ability? What? His Sui queen never died. Bro, his Sui lasted longer than most pros queen charges <laughs> rip this base wr phoenix coming in with a nice clan class triple and team nick knows finishing with 14 stars in this match and here we go with the last attack for team lexnos i'm gonna be using the hybrid again of course because why not this time with five freezes instead of only three just because lol why not why not on wr phoenix's base and let's see if we can get the clan class triple for the perfect war for team lex toast let's do it let's do it queen start there sneaky the owl's probably gonna die right away but who cares i don't need the owl goodbye owl We actually got the CC pool early. Can we get the Hound as well, please? Yes, we did. Oh, that's beautiful. We can deal with the Hound. Outside the range of the single, which means we're going to be able to swag like all of these freezes. I'm just going to start spamming these freezes. I want to save the rage for when she's fighting the town hall. There we go. Town hall is dead. First heal in. Wall breaker was useless. I should have used it for the king on the top side. Pop that warren ability for everybody. Pop that king ability. He'll spill up there. We still got two freezes. I'm just gonna save him for the row champion. Keep her alive forever. And it should be clan clashed. We still got hogs and an army of miners, king and pecker on the top side. Oh my goodness, it's looking beautiful. Queen's tanking the expo as well. Go ahead and freeze once. I missed the archer tower. Oh well. We're gonna swag the other freeze. We don't need it. This is crushed. And another perfect war for Team Lexnos over Team Nick. Woo! Two in a row. Let's go. Drop the CC right there. And boom, don't need the queen ability. It's wrecked. Let's check out these stats again. 15 stars to 14 and a victory for Team Lexnos. Wow, what an interesting meta Town Hall 14 is right now.